Thank you everyone for the presentation and uh, first of all I'd like to thank the organizing committee for inviting me here to this historical uh, event. Um, so I have the pleasure to present uh, what happened in Cambodia uh, regarding uh, human arms robberies. Actually, um, our story starts um, in 2012, similar to what happened here uh, 20 years ago, so just a bit later. And unfortunately, the story starts with a very sad one, and just like uh, what happened in other parts of the world. And so the story in Cambodia started in April 2012 with uh, medical doctor observe an abnormally large number of admission to a large uh, children hospital called uh, Contempo Hospital in Phnom Penh. And those patients presented with severe neurological symptoms and plus or minus plus severe pneumonia. And then this disease affects only young children, mostly uh, uh, age under three years old. And and then, uh, surprisingly, they die, most of them, majority of those uh, patients die uh, 24 hours of admission, admission and this is what uh, people or children uh, suffer as well here 20 years ago and, and until now. So, this is the beginning of the story of the mystery disease uh, in Cambodia. So, just to give you an idea why that hospital detect uh, or report the, the first, uh, those first few uh, cases of HFMD. So, uh, this is a large hospital providing free of care to Cambodian children. And, and then, as you can see, the number here, a large number of, about 80% of, uh, of children come to seek care, health care in these uh, hospitals. And as, uh, as you can see here in those uh, photos, every every morning you can see a line of uh, parents with their children. And then uh, this new this the new of the mystery disease uh, uh, took uh, attention to uh, public and com scientific community and also uh, media. As you can see, are several uh, journals public uh, published uh, this. Uh, the news about this mystery disease, and and then uh, Pasteur Institute in Cambodia involved in the investigation, and we uh, test those samples for different emerging and severe uh, pathogens, including viruses and, and bacteria. And finally, in July, in July 9th, we identified the cause of origin of this uh, severe disease, uh, which was um, mostly caused by ED21. So, taking opportunity of this investigation, so we took we look further into characterization of uh, uh, EV A twenty one uh, causing epidemic in two thousand twelve and in two thousand thirteen. Uh, looking to our data, we, as you can see here, most of our cases are under three years old, with an average of uh, two point five, and we classify patients into uh, three different forms of severity. HFMD, which is in China, uh, in China has mild uh, uh, HFL. With this one, is, this group is with central nervous uh, involvement and also uh, cardio, the most severe one, cardiopulmonary failure. And it's about 50% uh, of the patients at that time were severe. And as you can see, the fertility rate was quite high in most severe cases up to 63%. And as in neurology, AS21 was the majority of, uh, was found in majority of samples, 67%, and following by other enterobaries, non as as one detected in 10% of samples. And among them, Kosaki A6, Kosaki A16, and also a few uh, uh, viruses belonging to uh, antivirus group B and group C. And, and we found that uh, Coxsackie A6 was associated with non-severe 
uh, H S O B while control virus B and C were found uh, solely in uh, severe cases. And then we try to look back whether this uh, control virus uh, is A S twenty one was already secreted in Cambodia, and we take the opportunity uh, of the of our biobank. We, look, we did a retrospective study. Uh, on sample collected between 2000 and 2011, and uh, across uh, Cambodia, you can see here. So we selected around 1,700 uh, samples from children between uh, age of two to 15 years. And this study was presented earlier by uh, Dr. Oh, sorry, yes. So uh, we test those samples using micro-neutralizers, you know, say, and we cut off on one uh, 16. And as you can see in this graph, um, an overall uh, zero prevalence of ev one in Cambodia uh, was on average about 88%. And uh, using mathematical model, we reconstruct uh, the epidemiology of uh, ev one and we see that um, the virus caused it caused uh, my cause outbreak um, every two or three years, and the first one probably was in 2001, second one 2005, 2007, and 2010. And if you look at the data hit literature, it seems that this correlates well with what happened in uh, other countries in the region as well. And then after the outbreak, we do. We, we continue to do surveillance with the Contabua hospitals, and also in 2017, we participated in the uh, Asia Pacific Network for Introverse Surveillance. And if you look, if you look here, uh, this graph is the circulation of EDS A71 and other introverse non EDS one circulation between 2012 and 2018. Uh, you can see here uh, there's a peak of the, of the beginning of the outbreak, and then two years later, uh, the second one in 2014, and then the virus uh, continued to circulate but at the lower level. And we observed last year another small, out, uh, small outbreak in 2012. Uh, and then, to our surprise, there was uh, two peaks uh, in 2017, while there is only one peak in. In, in June or July, like uh, what was observed in Thailand or in Malaysia. And there were two peak in 2017 in, in February, and also the second one is in, in June. And if we look at the severity of cases that we receive, uh, uh, that we receive every year, and in during the outbreak, it seems that we receive a mix of uh, mild and severe uh, uh, sample, or sample from mild and severe uh, cases. But along the time, it seems uh, we tend to, to have sample from only severe cases. And this highlights uh, the, the, uh, the, the quality of our surveillance, because this is not a national level surveillance. And we, it seems that the sample were sent to us according to a doctor interest, so they are interested in more severe cases and want to know what was the etiology. And so there is, uh, at the national level, there is a lack of uh, good system, uh, a surveillance system, and the, the, the surveillance was not uh, well implemented uh, across the country. And this, uh, this figure, just to show you the distribution, uh, distribution of uh, EV71 cases and I don't know EV71, as you can see here, a large uh, uh, EV71 uh, affected most part of the country in 2012 and then again 2014, quite a year in 2015 and 16, and then another one in 2017. As you can see, if you notice here, since there are no cases, uh, it, was because, uh, it is because um, these are the mountainous uh, uh, region, and we don't have uh, most a lot of data from that. And surprisingly, uh, in 2018, we received 
few, uh, few cases and none of the cases receive uh, tested positive for EV syndrome while uh, they, are, they are positive for um, other EVM, uh, EV. Looking at uh, phylogenetic analysis, uh, our EV sent one cluster in two groups. One is gene group uh, C, uh, it subgene group C4, and the second one is gene group uh, B. So if you look at the subgene group C4, uh, as you can see in different colors, uh, China in green, Thailand in uh, purple, Vietnam in, in uh, blue, and Cambodia in, in red. As the uh, you know, said earlier, that we for, uh, Thailand follow Malaysia, and it seems that we Cambodian uh, follow either Thai, Thailand, or Vietnam. And as you can see here, um, therefore, the, our strain, EV syndrome strain, cluster in four different lineages. Uh, the first one is cluster, uh, cluster closely with the strain isolated in Thailand in 2008. The second one, cluster closely with um, the Chinese strain. Uh, isolated in 2010 uh, and 12. The, the third one close to Vietnamese strain. And the fourth one, it seems that our strain became uh, uh, endemic in the country and evolved uh, within the country between 2012 and 2017. If you look closer into the lineage of four, it seems that um, uh, in, these are the strain from Cambodia. In 2017, the, the, this, uh, that red one, and it seemed to cluster in two different uh, uh, clades. The one is uh, this, this one originated from the strain isolated in 2012 and 13, while this cluster uh, started with the strain isolated in 2014. And with this, we will look further into the full genome and with uh, with a uh, and trying to understand more about uh, this clustering. And then uh, subgene group B5, as you can see here as well, the same color code. Uh, these are the Cambodian strain, and the first one Cambodian isolated uh, in 2012, cl uh, close to uh, high strain in 2011. This one with Vietnamese strain, and then this one with, again with the Thai strain, the newest one, 2017, with uh, the Thai strain between 2012 and 2014. So, in conclusion, uh, EV71 uh, was the origin of the HFV outbreak in Cambodia between 2012 and 2013, and mainly caused by uh, subgene group C4A with a few of V5. And with the three uh, phylogenetic tree analysis, we hypothesis that this uh, strain was probably introduced from uh, other neighboring countries, uh, causing an outbreak uh, at that time. And then the, the, the virus became endemic in the country. Uh, we still don't understand why uh, we need to do to, to, to further study to understand why uh, the role of this uh, non dv one in the severity of uh, cases. And then uh, epidemic peaks was observed every two years with uh, indicative uh, cyclical pattern of the outbreak. And then there is a real need for Cambodian probably as well as in other Asian country, a well uh, implemented uh, national level surveillance of Asia from the to better understand and then for the, the prospective of vaccine uh, trial. Thank you very much for it. Uh, before I, I'm sorry. Yes, uh, before I end, I just would like to, uh, to express my deepest condolences to the founder of Mitova Hospital, uh, who died recently uh, this month uh, with this very sad. And, and yes, this is uh, a bad news for all Cambodian children. But the hospital still continues to, to provide uh, health care. We, we are very sad to to see his pathway. Okay. And then uh, here's his photos. And, and then I finish with uh, acknowledgement of different uh, institutes who 
involved in the study and the sequencing. Thank you very much.